Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over a text transparency effect. It's pretty easy to do and it looks great, and it can be done in Adobe Photoshop. So I'm using Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud 2015, but feel free to dive in on any version that you want. Some of the settings are a little different and look slightly different, but overall it should flow pretty much the same and you should be able to knock this effect out. So if we dive into Photoshop, we're going to hit open and we're going to want to just open up a photo. So I've got this photo of Los Angeles here. And once your photo's in Photoshop, you actually want to go to File, New. We're going to create a new artboard here, a new image. And it's going to be 1920 by 1080 with a resolution of 144. So once you've got that, just hit OK. And then go back into your photo layer up at the top and unlock it. It was just a little lock button here. If that's on, just click on it. It should unlock. And you want to hit Command A. I'm on a Mac, so all of my hotkeys are command plus the other key. If you're on a Windows, it's generally going to be control plus C for copy, control V. So I'll be saying command here, but again, it can work either way. So I've got command A to highlight it, and then command C to copy. And we're going to go back into our untitled, this new uh, 1920 by 1080, and hit command V, and that'll paste your image. Now, my image is much larger than this size, so what I need to do is actually scale the image down. So I'm going to hit Edit, Transform, Scale, and you'll see these boxes pop up. So if you just zoom out a little bit, I can actually click on the corner, and if I hold down Shift and then click and drag, it'll keep the aspect ratio as the photo was taken. And I don't want to scale too far in, but I get it to just about the right size and then I can adjust it up to center and hit enter and then I'll place your image. So here we've got our image. This is the background of what the effect will look like. So the next step is to create a text or I'm sorry, before we dive into the text, we're going to actually build a fill layer. So go ahead and hit the page icon down here and that is the new layer icon. And once that is uh, created, click on it and you want to create a fill. So if you hit edit, fill, this option pops up here. Now we want the contents to be white, we want the mode to be normal, and the opacity to be about 80%. And we don't need to check this preserve transparency. So go ahead and hit OK, and that creates your fill. So the next step is to create your text layer. So click there and you can write out whatever you want. I'll go with Los Angeles. And for now, I'm just going to center it. And what you want is your text color to be black. So make sure that's black. Now we have our text layer and we have our fill. So what you want to do is you want to click on both of these. That's hold down command and click both. Again, it's control on a Windows. And then you want to hit command G to group the two. So now we have our fill and our text grouped over our background photo. And if you hit the little drop down, you can actually click on your text layer and we're going to do some adjustments to this layer. So right click and hit blending options. In the advanced blending setting, we want to change our fill opacity to about 10. And we want to change our knockout setting to shallow. And you can see, if you hit OK, what this is doing is it's actually adjusting as though it's knocking out the fill where our text is to show what the true background looks like. And it has a really cool look. So this is pretty much the entire effect, but there's a lot of ways in which you can really fine tune this. If you go into your and just click on your fill, you can change the opacity, let's say 70. And you can see how that adjusts the intensity of the fill in the background. And we could just, for example, bring it down to 10 and it essentially disappears. Um, let's sit it at about, let's say 50. And the other thing you can do is you can go back into your blending options and you can play with the fill opacity. Let's say this is at about 25, make it a little darker. So now we've got a pretty nice look. And really what you can do is at this point go in and change the text. So say we just wanted to say city uh, and be much larger. Well, you can do that as well. 
And you can do anything at this point to customize how you want the text and your background to look. So guys, this is a pretty simple effect and I hope that you can find some ways to play with this and make some awesome content, whether it be creative thumbnails for your YouTube videos or maybe something for Instagram or something for Facebook. It's got an awesome look to it and it's pretty trending right now. So dive in, have some fun with it, and let me know how your time went. Guys, go ahead and comment, like, share the video. I appreciate anything. So thanks for checking it out, guys. We'll be back with another video soon. Have a good one.